Okay, back with part two. So I had just gotten Sky out from under the um, the fence, and I'm screaming, "Help!" The other dogs aren't listening. Um, as soon as I scooped Sky in my arms, Wrigley went to bite me. So I got her in. I got the puppy inside. And shortly after that, it felt like an eternity, but shortly after that, Leo came and helped me get everybody under control. So, one of the scariest moments of my life, because I have... Someone was detected at your dining room. The baby in the pack and play... I was out the front door just trying to get some air real quick, like two minutes. Wasn't expecting to be out there more than that. Had the front door open. The screen was closed to the back door, but I had the door itself open. And it was just, well, let's get on to the next day. The next day, Leo was like, well... She's never done this. She's great with the puppies, you know. So he wanted just to overlap, not put them out together, but just overlap, like bring the puppies in, put the big guys out. She attacked another puppy, uh, one of the male puppies this time. So um, he, Leo was right there when this transition and happen when this happened and he got to see it and she punctured the dog she punctured the male puppy's leg and we are now at a point of a crossroads of what do we do someone was detected at your dining room we keep asking for advice of because they've tasted blood do you put them down do you rehome to a place where there's no children, no dogs? Or what do you do? The whole situation breaks my heart because she was being trained to be my, my gate dog, my service dog. You know, Winston is my service dog, but she was being trained as my walking gets worse to be my gate dog and to be my big dog. I'm coming back with